So today, Hannah and me, oh, I was gonna say Hannah and Hannah, we just had a conversation. Just had a conversation. I'm so full of rage. But. We had a conversation about whether or not uh, certain people from other groups can use certain words. Right. Whether systemic oppression exists. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> anyway, long story short, today for the Analyze This podcast, we're going to a place called Rage Ground, where we are going to smash things, which I guess is supposed to be therapeutic in some way. I'm frankly very nervous and uncomfortable with this. I mean, where does anger go? Anger like, if you're not me. punching the person you're mad at, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna go smash things. Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Peter, how often do you rage out? Uh, every day. Every day? <laughs> Whenever someone doesn't break anything, I'll break it. What do you find to be the therapeutic benefits of raging? Well, it's just like something you don't get to do. So this offers like a really safe place to release your anger in mm. a way that's like not really in front of everyone in a way that you don't really get to normally do. So this is your room. All the stuff that's for you to break, that includes the chair and the mirror. This is really strange. I feel like I'm in a clockwork orange. I just feel like we're so socially conditioned to not do what we're about to do. I feel the same way. There's our room and that we're supposed to just get really mad inside of. <laughs> oh, someone's ready. I don't love the sound of breaking glass. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this to shatter the image that I think I have to have of myself. That's the meaning I'm trying to assign to it. Let's try that. Beautiful. in the rage room solo now because it is not my jam. I don't like it. I told Hannah to just go to town and be like, Wah! as much as she wants. I'm coming back in. Oh. You smile every time you do it. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings, but yeah, no, I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> accident. Um, I don't think I was supposed to do this, but I hit the mirror and it hit a hole. <gasps> I asked him if we could do the TV. Oh! Awesome, thank you. All right, have fun. Look at this TV. This is my metaphor. Art is for expression, not escape. Art is for deliverance, not distraction. Art has a message. That's what I'm gonna smash this TV for. You're not just trying to escape your life, you're trying to live your life and express it too. <laughs> Initial thoughts? Wow! I have <laughs> Okay, so wait, actually, actually, if you guys want to hear what we thought of the Rage Room, be sure to check it out on Analyze This, our podcast where we talk about things, the self-help podcast that just can't help itself. Stop and things! I have so much to say about the Rage Room experience. I am full of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, click like and subscribe. And if you guys want us to try out different self-helpy things for Analyze This and maybe make more videos about it, let us know in the comments below. We got this suggestion from an earbud. An earbud! Yeah. Those are our wonderful, wonderful Analyze This listeners. If you want to be an earbud, check out the podcast, click like, subscribe, hit the bell, and above all else, mwah, have a great day. <laughs>